but again Gavin Ward is blowing his whistle because they're back at it again. So, at the third time of asking, Charles to take the corner, front post attempted, flick on it, oh! And it is a back post, and Chubaya Cobb is there! Just past the seven-minute mark, Middlesbrough go in front of Preston, the Michael Carrick era is up and running thanks to Chubaya talking to Rob last night regarding set pieces on BBC Radio Tees and we were talking and I said set pieces are massive and I've watched them do set pieces you know really worked at them and that one is a really good one they're massively important and you know what the runs are good the delivery is good I think it's Larry Hearn that comes to the near post I'm not sure he gets something on it but what he does he upsets the Preston defence it just bounces once and that pump is round the back they hit me the and he just taps it into an empty net. Oh, brilliant stuff down the left-hand side, into the area. Now he's slowed down, looking at Jones oh. with the cross-diving header just in front of him, clears the immediate danger. But he's got the ball back now, Jones, from Housen, just inside the box. Pulls it back to Housen oh. outside the area, to Put Smith now. Smith might cross, he does, with Pierce, oh. and headed in! Oh. At the back post, Schubert Akpom was there! A former whole player against his former employers, and Bob Front, just like they did on Saturday, and just like in that game, it's Tuber Apple with the header. Yeah, I, 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 I mourned a little bit there because I expected Johnny Housen to put it in there, but he doesn't. He plays it out to Tommy Smith here, and he whips a ball in. It takes a wicked deflection, by the way, and it gets to the back post. There's Tuber Akpon, totally unmarked. Bang, puts it in the back of the It's about 30 yards up from the goal line. Giles towards the 18-yard line, ball to Housen. Housen's got Jones on the right corner of the area. Jones teasing it towards the back post. Lenahan heads down. Go it's gone over the line. It's it. It's an own goal. It's, it's surely it. gone in. It has. Daryl Lenahan wheels away. He's heading for the Borough fans in the corner. He's headed across goal. Hull couldn't keep it out. And Borough have struck back. They lead 2-1. Isaiah Jones to the back stick. I'm looking at the back stick and thinking, you've got numbers there. You've got bodies sticking back post as I he does. And what he does, Leonard and he just puts him back into an area. Away from the keeper to the far side. He bounces, he heads it into the ground. The defenders can't deal with it. And it goes into the roof of the net. It's behind the goal. You can see that straight away. And they've hit back. A week tonight, we're at Bloomfield Road in Blackpool. And the following Saturday, it's Norwich away at Carroll Road. Akpom, lovely ball to Giles. Giles coming in from the left-hand the side, oh. into the area. Space opposite. Oh, yeah. oh it's scored at the near post! It's gone right through the keeper! How did Baxter miss it? We don't know, we don't care, because Ryan Giles looks to amend the point safe. Pull one, Middlesbrough three, Ryan Giles with his first for the Borough. Oh, it's in a howl, howler from the keeper, in my opinion. Giles' touch is too heavy, and you hear me say, oh, no, because I think he's gone too... He's put it too far in front, and therefore he puts it in the post. It is a simple save for the keeper. He should be collecting that, and how it goes inside the post, I will never know. Poor goalkeeping, but who cares? 3-1, and that should be it. Just holding on to the ball. The first goal comes to someone on holding on to the ball, and before you know it's in the back of the net because they've got some quick lads up top. Or uh, might have some quick lads here. McGree down the left hand side. He's going to put the ball into the box and Akpom! Super Akpom! First time finish from just outside the six yard area. And at last, Max O'Leary is beaten. Borough two minutes after the break great start lovely ball and once again Bristol City just leave that gap down the sides they're really thin they really press in there and they leave big holes in behind Juba Akpon does really well turns Riley McQueen gets the ball on this side and he feeds the ball it takes the deflection by the way and Juba left foot swings onto it underneath the keeper you're back into this game 
Shubarakpom is the man for Middlesbrough once again. Well, it's Birmingham against Swansea tonight. Cardiff are losing 1 0 at home to Hull. Coventry 0, Wigan 0. QPR 1, Huddersfield 1. Sheffield United 0, Rotherham 0. And Birmingham have just scored their 1 0 up on Swansea as Akpo will cross from the right hand side. Falls, he's going to head it down. Jones in the middle of the goal! Isaiah Jones! First time! Neat left footed finish! has sent the travelling Middlesbrough support into ecstasy. Quarter of an hour gone at Bluefield Road. It is Blackpool nil, Middlesbrough won, and Isaiah Jones puts the icing on the cake. I will say it's great football. You said it before, Middlesbrough just starting to hit top gear, and they were moving it around on this right-hand side. It's a cross-field ball. I think it was Tommy Smith, or maybe it's true, I'm not quite sure. He gets the ball across. I think it's Fawzi heads it, heads it backwards, and Isaiah Jones is following that cross. He gets on the way, he gets the, just in front of the penalty spot. It's a left foot shot into the side netting. Great play for us, and what a finish. He has to score now. Yeah, people are back at home if they've... He won the penalty, yeah. he's going to take it. Come on, Marcus. Burris centre forward has just loosened his neck. Up he steps oh. and he whips it into the left corner. Marcus falls as the clock ticks round to 48 minutes. Doubles Middlesbrough's lead. Fans returning from their half time break are bouncing up and down and jumping jigs of delight because it's Blackpool. Middlesbrough to Marcus falls with the penalty. What a penalty, by the way. Power just to the keeper's right. And I, you know what? I'm delighted for him because he celebrates in front of the fans. Right in front of the fans. Goes on his knees in front of them and delighted for him. What a penalty that was. Helped down the left once more by the Tangerines. There on his knees, making the header is Smith. House and run, out, uh, run off it on the touchline, and then just battles away, wins it back, and he's into the feet of Akpom. Akpom holds it up, waiting for the support. McGree just to his left, gets the ball now. McGree with Giles outside him. Giles early cross, Akpom's there! Choo, choo, choo! The tube of Akpom Express is on the rails and out of the station once more! Are you watching Gareth Southgate? The man's on fire! Tell you what, I mean, I have absolutely loved watching this tonight. I really have. And we have played some real intelligent football. We've played aggressive football. I mean, talk about man of the match. I tell you what, I could give it to anyone. Because all of them have put a right shift in. All of them have played their part in what so far has been... A real accomplished team performance. Great play down the left hand side. Chuba absolutely loved that right in front of the fans. And listen to the roar now because Chuba Akpom was down on his knees thanking the Almighty. And as he gets back up, he looks at the fans who are 10 yards away from them. He roars at them and they roar back. McGree goes for goal, what a finish! Marcus Falls headed it down, the ball sat up, and Riley McGree whacks it gleefully, joyously, into the top right corner. He's off to the World Cup after this, he won't need an aeroplane, he's flying there! It's Norwich 1, Middlesbrough 1, Riley McGree with a perler. Water! By the way, that goes in top corner. It's great play. It's up to fours. He nicks it round the corner and he's on the edge of the box. I mean, it's sort of a scissor kick, but I tell you what, he catches it. Gives a quick look. It's a little one. Yeah, it's a little scissor kick. 
Get Un in there, son. You're not catching that. Unsavable. No way you're saving that. Bang! Wallop gets in the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. Craig Shakespeare was out there barking at Janoulis to get back in position. Borough take the throw in. Hackney back to Smith, loops that up down the line, Akpom chesting it and controlling on his oh, right foot, lovely brilliant. turn, brilliant, he beat three players You're with one move, side. now Jones in the on. box, Akpom to his outside, cuts it across, yes! it's into the net, and you it's into the net, and it's Mark Crooks and the substitute, he was there almost on the goal line, slams it into the roof of the net, Middlesbrough are doing what seems impossible, they're winning at Norwich, this never happens, but it now, Matt Crooks makes it 2 1 to the Borough, and the Norwich fans are heading for home. Oh, Tuba Akpon, big aim with your skill, beautiful play, puts it into Isaiah Jones, gets on the outside of him and fires a ball across the six yard box, and it's the big tree, Matt Crooks, 2 1.